So far, you have learned how to get information from observations, experiments and so on. That's how scientists work. If they see patterns in their research, meaning the results are repeated, they lay claim to scientific theory. This is how humans broaden knowledge horizons. When you use this way of thinking in the classroom, your students will make discoveries by themselves and push back the horizons of what they know. The ability to observe patterns is essential for effective learning. Rules and patterns are essential for games too. And children like to play games. In the, if they know rules very well and know how to apply them, they are winning players. School knowledge is also based on rules. If you give students the opportunity to get acquainted with them, you will see how capable players they become. Welcome to the fourth and last part of our training on critical thinking. Today you will learn how to use coding, decoding, puzzles and riddles in the classroom to make thinking of your students really efficient. Welcome.